What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Medicom Toys Mafex Batman Hush, the black version of Batman. And so here we have the Mafex Hush Batman pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's run through his accessories. Batman does come with two different head sculpts. We do have an angry head and then we do have an even angrier grimacing head. He also comes with several sets of hands. We get a pair of fists, a pair of relaxed hands, a pair of style pose hands, a pair of grip hands, a pair of hands that have battery rings in between all the knuckles, a pair of hands for holding his cape, and then a pair of hands that hold his grapple gun. He also does come with two versions of the grapple. We do have one where it's inside the gun, and then we do have one where it is firing. He also does come with two versions of the battering, which look really nice. And then he does come with a rooftop display stage, which looks really nice. Other than that, Batman here doesn't come with any other accessories. So with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at Batman. So here we have a closer look at Batman and Mafex has done a really good job with this figure. Now this is the reissue of the black version of the Hush Batman. I did originally pick one up last year but unfortunately that had so many quality control issues it was just unreviewable. But we do have this one in hand which I will say the reissue does a lot of things much better than that old figure. For starters, the joints on this one are perfect. I don't have any issues with it. And then he also does have the little bars that we see with more modern day uh, Mafex figures where they have this plastic that keeps the, uh, the peg holes wide, which that actually does help. The original one didn't come with that. So as far as this Batman goes, it's a very good Batman. Now there's really not much separating this Batman from the original Hush Batman, if we can just bring him out. They share virtually the exact same sculpt. Everything on them is the exact same. The heads, the body, the, the suit, everything on it is the same. But if I'm being 100% honest, this is the version that I really wanted. I know in Hush, Batman wore a really dark blue. But me personally, Batman has always been in black and I really do like it. It's a very, very nice looking figure and it looks fantastic. I love how the eyes look. They did a really good job painting his skin tone. I really love the way the cape is on this one. I don't know if it's because this is a newer production run or if the black material that Mafex uses is just better. The cape on this one feels much better. It's very natural and it looks very good and it still has the wireframes in it for posing. So I do like that. As you can see, his cowl does drape down a little bit. And because this is a, I want to say it's a lighter material, the cowl sits better on the figure. And they actually did glue it down up here in the front so we don't have any run on like we had on that original figure. He still has the black bat insignia, which does look nice. The outside of the insignia looks like it could have got a little more paint, but overall still nice. I love the color of the utility belt. If we bring out that original Batman figure, the utility belt was a more muted yellow. This one has a little more orange in it. And again, you can see the difference in costume. This one has a lighter shade of gray, while this one is a darker shade of gray. And then that's the runoff I was talking about with the glue that kind of got into the figure. This one, I don't have any issues like that. And again, it might just be because this is a later production run. It's still a very solid figure all the way through. Really love the proportion. The body is the same. If you want a more in-depth look at this particular sculpt, you can check out the review for my Hush Batman originally, and that's up on my channel if you want to go check that out. So again, there's nothing new to talk about with this Batman in terms of detail, other than how fantastic this cape works. I love the way the cape is. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually get Batman posing compared to other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Batman posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Batman posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Batman posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And for one final comparison, here we do have the black version of the Hush Batman posed next to the original Hush Batman. 
So with the comparisons out of the way, let's have a look at Batman's articulation. Now, Batman does have a double ball joint in the head, and it is on that crooked ball joint, so you can get more range either looking up or down, depending on how you have it situated. I do have it with more upwards mobility, but he still gets fantastic down mobility, no problems there. Does tilt his head side to side, as well as turns left and right. He has a second ball joint here at the base of the neck, which does let him look up does let him look down even further and tilts his head a little bit. His arms are on butterfly joints which do pivot back and forward. They pivot forward really nicely, go up, down, all the way around, no problem. He does have a bicep swivel, a double bend here at the elbow, a swivel hinge here at the wrist which works really nicely so we have forward and back mobility or up and down and then it does rotate on that pin. He has a double ball joint in the torso, so he can pivot back, can pivot forward, side to side. Uh, doesn't crunch as well as you think, but he does lean side to side nicely. Then we have a second ball joint here at the waist, which does lean forward all the way, no problem. Doesn't lean back all too far, but that's from the top joint. And then we get some more tilt as well as rotation. Legs are on drop down hinges, so they drop down, kick out to about right there kick back to about right there. Uh, outward going out to about there. Die swivel up high. We have a double bend here at the knee. Works really good and gets stuck right here for some reason but it still goes all the way straight so it's no problem. We do have a hinge in the ankle going back and forward. Forward facing pin for rocker ankle. Some rotation and then we have a toe hinge. And then the final piece of articulation is his cape where it has four different wireframes in it. We do have two in the front right here. Then we have two more right here in the back so you can actually articulate it as you want. I kind of wish that there was a fifth one right here but I'll take what it is. It's still a very nice cape. A lot of cape but a nice cape nonetheless. So with that out of the way guys let's actually get Batman posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Mayfix Batman Hush figure, the black version pose for my final thoughts. And overall, I really do like this version of the Hush Batman. Like I said, uh, it's my subjective opinion that the black suit Batman is the best version of Batman. Now, if you like the dark blue version, you can like that version. If you like the blue version, you can like that. Me personally, Batman should always wear black and gray because I think it fits the character a little bit better. Overall, it's the exact same figure that we got originally with the blue uh, Hush Batman. Batman, but he doesn't come with a Bruce Wayne head and this one does come with a display stand which I really do like that it's a really intricate stand that you would see with the hush artwork so really glad they did include that with this version of Batman so overall do I recommend this Batman figure absolutely any fan of Batman should already have a hush version of Batman and I think I have the added benefit of this being a reissue rather than the original figure because this one seems to do a lot of things better than that original figure kind of had issues with now me personally like I said this is my definitive version of Batman the black suit looks very nice and I really am happy with this figure being a reissue I did get this figure from Big Bad Toy Store where he did run me $94 which you know what I'm willing to pay that price because again I originally bought this figure last year and had it on pre-order but it broke and had the worst quality control I have ever seen on Mafex and I'll post pictures about that just so you guys can see how bad it was. Overall, I do recommend this figure. Now, getting him is a little bit of a hassle. At the time I'm making this video, he is pre-order sold out on Big Bad Toy Store. And chances are, once he goes on sale, he's going to be sold out. So if you miss this figure, you are going to have to go secondhand market for this version of Batman. Which I've already seen it go up to $300 just for this version. If you're willing to pay that price... I would say don't just wait to see if Mafex will reissue this figure because it's Mafex. They have reissued figures in the past and they'll do it again guys. So just be patient and hopefully you guys can snag it on a reissue. If not, you will have to pay a secondhand market pricing. With that being said guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Mafex videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, 
Ring that bell to be notified anytime I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.